Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar begins the new trading week on a negative note. As we can see here, the market slipped away from its call to the top side around 65.5 to 66 cents, where the 60-day simple moving average holds. This week's economic highlights include the Fed Powell congressional testimony. Along with that, we've got the release of the February jobs report in the US. And then we've got also on Wednesday, Australia's GDP update. And then Friday, China's CPI and PPI data. The non-farm payrolls data holds more market moving potential though, particularly if the job gain exceeds the forecast of 190,000, signaling ongoing inflationary pressures possibly and impacting the market sentiment and the Fed policy expectations with a rate cut at present looking at June. So viewing the technicals, the markets have somewhat buckled, but still the support level I feel from 6480 should again hold after three consecutive tests rebounded. From that, the market should look further to the upside to 65 and a half and on towards 66 figure 30 and reassess from there. Viewing the euro, the market opens slightly firmer for the start of the week. As investors anticipate, as I mentioned, two significant event levels being the Fed and also the US job number. Along with that, for this week, keep an eye out for further US data with the US ISM services PMI and the ADP private payrolls. In addition to that, we also pay attention to the European Central Bank or ECB interest rate decision. Financial markets anticipate a 25-point rate cut by the ECB in June, like the US, so the event for this week is likely to be non-eventful. Looking at the technicals though, the market is showing a bit of bearish divergence, so I'll be a little bit cautious towards the top side challenge as the level around 108.80 was recently rejected, as we can see here. But nevertheless, the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, remains weak at 103.80. Beyond 108.80, the market looks towards the next level of 109.35.40, and then you pull back on the day view support at 108.05.15. Today marks an important schedule for the Bank of Japan's governor when he's scheduled to speak later and markets will be keeping a very close watch on what could provide further insight into the BOJ's monetary policy direction. In light of the recent break pattern here, the market is held respectively beneath that key point somewhere around 150.7080 and in view of the RSI, I feel the market along with that with the MACD can potentially head lower and look towards the bottom side of this range so far around 108.15.20 with the immediate support seen at 150.15. Sterling, well the market still remains somewhat bullish as it pushes higher and still looks for that key challenge of 127.15.25. A break there would give further scope on towards 127.80 but do be careful around this region show good supply profit taking and we may see a somewhat repeat pattern as there is a little bit of divergence here when it comes to the RSI to the bear case. So we could see another rejection beyond that level of 127.15.25. Another rally for spot gold as it refreshes its two month highs and clears the level of 2100, which was recently seen from this blow off top somewhere around 2140. With the technicals overbought and an ADX trend overheating, I'm a little bit cautious above this level as from 2,120.40 could see very much high volatility and whipsaw price action. So traders should be advised to remain vigilant and adjust their strategies for risk management in the amidst of expected high volatility. Looking at all, the market's pulled back slightly since the break above 78.5, but overall still looks towards that top side somewhere around 79 to 81 to 83. Any pullback I feel would be shallow, around 77, 65 to 80. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. And as always, look out the intraday port and hope you enjoy the great day ahead.